Welcome to Studio One at Flexible Plan. My name is Peter Mothy, and I've got three charts to share with you today. I'm going to call this topic what we do and why we do it. Here at Flexible Plan, everything we do is rules based, and it's rules based for a reason. My first chart for you today is a long term chart of interest rates. And what you'll see is a floor at around 4% where historically we have spent time, decades of time below and decades of time above. So my point in this chart is that indeed we may have seen a low in interest rates in 2016. There's been a lot of concern since then that we're going to be spending the next two or three decades in an increasing interest rate environment. But what if we don't? What if we spend the next two decades below 4% just like we spent two decades below 4% before we broke above it back in the 1960s. That comes down to the rules-based methodologies that we employ here at Flexible Plan. So whether we go above 4% or not makes very little difference to us because everything we do is rules-based and we will respond in, an according, in accordance with what's going on in the, in the markets as a whole. Remember, Politics, economics, and demographics drive interest rates. All of those are long-term trends. And here at Flexible Plan, we make decisions every day according to the rules-based systems we employ. My second chart for you is a long-term chart of the stock market going back to the bottom in 2009. And I've labeled four parts on this chart. A, B, C, and D. Now here's the interesting part. Technicians, market technicians, tend to draw trend lines connecting major or important market lows. But not all lows are the same. You can see here that the lows of B and C are what we would call rational market lows. They were corrections that happened in an orderly manner and the markets moved on from there. The panic low in 2009 and the low in 2018 around the Christmas holiday, we tend to call those irrational lows. So if we connect the dots of B and C, we can see what the, the rational trend line of this bull market is. And we're above that bull market trend line. So until the bull market ends, it has to be considered in force. So we can worry day to day, there will always be news that will make us concerned about the, the longevity of the bull market at hand, but until it's over, it's still in place, and we will still follow the rules-based systems here at Flexible Plan. Now the last chart I have for you is a shorter term chart of the S&P 500, and my, my point here is that we had a lot of drama in the stock market in the fourth quarter of 2018, and we had a lot of drama coming out of that low in the last part of December, and we've been skyrocketing upward since. However, if you take a look back, we're about the same place we were seven months ago. So there's been a lot of drama down and a lot of drama up, but in the meantime, we haven't gone anywhere for the last seven months. Back to rules-based systems. So we'll follow the rules no matter whether we're going down or going up. We don't try to figure out why markets are going where they're going. We try to follow and respond accordingly. Now, the other thing that I've noted on this particular chart is the curved green line that you'll see on the graphic. That's just showing you that the steep angle of ascent that we've experienced since, since the December low cannot sustain itself forever you can already see that we're starting to arc over a little bit to change the angle of ascent to something more sustainable. And we can expect that as we go through the summer and into the fall where we'll probably see yet again higher highs and new all-time highs. That's it for today. Those are my three charts. I'm Peter Mothy and thank you for joining me at Studio One at Flexible Plan.